Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Poem Masters video, and today we're going to talk about uh, Archeops, and I think it's Emmett, right? <laughs> Emmett and, and, and Archeops, Subway Dude, the other Subway Dude. And I think he's the white, white one, the white clothing one. Anyways, whatever. So, Emmett and Archeops, really, 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 really nice rock type striker, honestly, right? Um, yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's definitely our our, our, our strongest one DPS wise, right? And it just does a lot of damage on on its on its rock type moves, right? And 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 it's not just that. There's a lot of other great things about it as well, as we'll see. Especially you know in the stats, 370 speed is fantastic, right? 370 speed is fantastic. Um, okay, nothing else about its stats are really great. <laughs> like the attack's not very good. Okay, the HP is fine. Right, the defense is not that great, but yeah, yeah, the 370 speed is really, really good, which means uh, what you can do is because Archeops has very, very, very great damage on your Stone Edge slash Rock Slides, uh, but not that much damage on your Sink move. So what you could do is you could, if you have Olivia, right, you could run uh, both Archeops and Olivia on the same team, and you could just do, you know, regular damage with with Archeops, Stone Edge, right, whatever, and then when it's time to sink, you could sink with, uh, with, with Olivia's uh, sink nuke, right? The, 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 the big, you know, Olivia's sink nuke, which is much, much better than, than Archeops's, right? So that's definitely something you do with that kind of speed, speed stat. And it is a, it's, it's a bit of a sand unit, right? So you do want to run a sand unit with them, right? Whether it be Acerola, Kabutops, or Ingo, right? Uh, I think those are literally the only three. The thing about running Acerola and Kabutops is defensively you're slightly suspect. If you're trying to run like Emmett with Olivia, it might be a bit tougher, right? Uh, but if you're running like Ingo, then you could easily you know run Olivia with with Archeops, right? And Olivia's not the only option you could do, right? You could also do Raihan if you have that, right? Rock Slide Raihan. Archops, Stone Edge, or if you want to rock so you can do that as well, I guess. And then you also, you know, have both uh, sand stuff on their grids as well. You could you could do that. Those work relatively well together if you're running on a sun team or not sun team, a sand team. I guess you could do Garchomp as well, although the damage is, you know, not not the best. And I don't personally think they work that well together just because of you know the nature. They both don't have that great of a sync move. And and it, you know you just don't have like that great of an option to sync with unless you have like Ingo and you could like sync with Ingo for like a support EX sync. Uh, but there are like some some you know turn three, turn six, or or I guess turn four, turn turn um turn turn eight issues there. But anyways, uh, in terms of decisions, but yeah, very very great unit. It's a 700k damage unit, right? Which is uh what around Zekrom's right level right obviously much much faster than Zekrom doesn't have as good of a sync move as a Zekrom right there are some factors that we don't know yet uh one being healthy strength five we don't exactly know how this is going to be calculated is it going to be straight into the attack stats or 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 you know wherever it multiplies right so again there are like two potential ways of how this could work again it's not completely confirmed it doesn't it's not the biggest deal in the world it's not gonna make the biggest difference in the world uh but it is uh, it is a pretty you know it's, it's it's a decent amount um well i won't say decent amount, but but you know it's it, it's a bit of uh you know difference in terms of damage right and yeah so yeah um stone edge if you're wondering you know how the heck you know, could stone edge hit that hard well you have the multipliers right you have the healthy string five multiplier uh, which even with the lower with the lower calculation, it's still really it's still you know 700k right. And then you got hit the gas five, which does turn Stone Edge into 4k move. But then again, you do have like a lot of speed there, so don't have to worry that much. And it gives an extra 50% here as well. All right, another 30% here in Sand Superiority. And when you're looking at the um, the, the the grid, you also get another uh, Crit Strike two over here, which is nice. Healthy power up if you want to do that. And yeah, yeah, you just got like a lot of um, options, right? So in terms of this unit overall, do you really, really need one? Um, I mean, rock type is one of the types that are struggling the most, right? I mean, you're, 
you know, best options are like Raihan and Olivia, and they're not, you know, anything crazy. And uh, Art Shop's obviously very, very good in this in this department in comparison. Uh, so it is a pretty nice buff to rock types overall. But if you could still clear most of the rock stuff with either Raihan or Olivia, you could, you, you know, again, it's not the, you know, you don't have to summon on this. And the the other thing is again do keep in mind anniversaries in two months right around two months time late august uh let's see yeah two months around yeah uh late august you should have the anniversary so whatever that's coming over there if you're completely free to play you don't buy gems or whatever uh you should probably start saving now all right you should probably start saving now although i would expect us to get like a lot of free gems during the anniversary as we always do uh, but, you know, a bit safer if you want to s start saving now, right? And the other thing is, you know, Groudon Kyogre, right? I mean, Groudon Kyogre banners, I think, should still be alive, right? Uh, let me just check in-game real quick because uh, as as good as the Ingo and Emmett units are, right? It's Groudon Kyogre are just very, very, very much better, <laughs> right? Overall as, as units. So, yeah, and, and in terms of, like, the other thing about, um, uh, uh, about Emmet, right? Yeah, the other thing about Emmet is, like, um, if you, like, if you do want to go for him, right, there are, like, some things that you, you know, you have to look at its grid, right? And I kind of feel like, like, the, the stuff on, on your 3 out of 5 is really nice, right? Like, Crit Strike 2... Sand sink, but I don't think it's extremely necessary because like a lo most of the big multipliers are on your passive anyways, right? With healthy again, healthy strength, um, sense purity three, hit the gas five. Oh, also one more thing that um, uh, Absol's data mine got wrong was that uh, the trainer move raises attack by six and not one. Because I was like, you say I was I was looking at like the plus one, like what? Why is it only plus one? That makes no sense, right? It's like one MP plus like what is this like? absolute terrible <laughs> training move so it turns out it, it is actually you know plus six which is obviously much 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 better right so that's that's really really nice so yeah yeah I, I, if you if you get if, if you really want to go for him I, I think one of five is definitely enough right but yeah it's just you know it depends on if you how much you really really need a rock type damage dealer uh but on the other hand you also have like Onyx, who is free, right? I mean, it's not, he's not, the Onyx, not the, you know, strongest rock type deal, damage dealer, but, you know, it should be enough to clear uh, mass most stages, right? Uh, right, Haymaker, Sync Nuke build, right, with Onyx or whatever. But, yeah, I definitely really like this unit a lot. Uh, really, really great damage overall. It's just, it's not coming at the best time, right, uh, for free to play players. Again, if you have money to spend, whatever if you will on this game then go for it. it's a really good unit right uh but again if you are more free to play you're trying to save your gems this is probably not the banner you want to summon on even though again it's a really really nice unit uh, i'd probably just wait for its rerun right and when it reruns they most likely would put him on the same banner as ingo right so they'll run like an ingo emmet dual pokefair banner which is really really nice because these two complement each other very well all right so if you're trying to like uh go for one you yeah, better go for both, right? Or at least try to look at both. And if it's presumably, it could be a 1.5, 1.5 split percentage, you know, total 3% um, scenario instead of just the 2% that they have on, you know, their their solo banners. So I do think, you know, when you rerun, probably would be would be a better chance to summon for these, even if you, you know, uh, want them, right? But I mean, again, if it's, as usual, like if these guys are like your favorite characters, favorite Pokemon, and I can't stop you from summoning on them, or if you just have you know a lot of money and you just want to spend it, then sure, go for it. But yeah, I probably wouldn't really suggest um, investing too much on this banner right at the moment with all the other things that are going. Oh, also, the the summer units are coming back, right? Uh, summer units are coming back. We're getting the new summer units. So yeah, again, very very good unit. I uh, I like it a lot. I'm just. Not sure if this is, you know, it, right? So, anyways, that's what we this one. I guess, hope you guys enjoy. Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like, this video is for channel for some more of as content. I will be summoning for this guy and the other guy live later tonight. So, make sure to tune into that. Should be fun. Hopefully, get some good luck. And I'll see you guys in the next one.